In this section, I'm going to be discussing some options for distance viewing that are head mounted. In particular, we're going to be looking at the iris vision, but comparing it to some other solutions that have been traditionally used in the classroom. So the most commonly used uh, device in the classroom has been the miniscope, which is a small telescope that the student can use to zoom in on the whiteboard or the blackboard. It's a mechanical optical device uh, and this is still a very effective solution for spot reading at a distance. Very portable. The issue surrounding this has generally been that when people use these in a classroom situation they will stand out as being slightly different from the rest of the class. And this issue actually affects every uh, device that's been designed for distance viewing, including laptop solutions with cameras that can zoom in and so on, um, but also any sort of spectacle solution. So this is uh, just a two times magnifying uh, Galilean spectacles. Uh, so the issue here again will be that uh, it makes people look different and actually in this case the user can't wear their own prescription glasses underneath these. So for some time um, there have been developments looking at distance viewing for classrooms but also for sporting events and for watching television at a distance and so on. So the Iris Vision was designed with that in mind. It works on the basis of a modified virtual reality headset. This is actually from the Samsung Gear range. So this is a Gear VR headset, uh, which is traditionally used for gaming, of course, and for virtual reality. And what happens is some special software is placed on a Samsung smartphone. And um, this is uh, an S8 smartphone. And it clips into the front of the uh, Iris Vision snaps into place and then we have the phone and the camera looking at a distance here. So this can zoom into about 12 times magnification. It's a uh, binocular view. You've got actually two, uh, two screen or at least a division of two screens and the control is all done with a swipe pad on the side here. What we can do is we can uh, increase the magnification by swiping back and forth here and we can actually adjust the field of view by swiping up and down. Now the field of view uses in the iris vision a thing called a bubble and the idea is that uh, the you can either have the whole field of view or you can contract in the view so that only a magnified bubble is magnified, the rest of it is unmagnified. And the idea of this was to give context, so you get a peripheral view of the context that you're looking at, let's say the teacher and the whiteboard, but a particular detail will be enclosed within a magnified bubble.